Which of you have done this? The Lord's. In, in the 70s, Tarkovsky um, was trying to have B.B. Anderson in one of his films. In fact, there were some, there were some uh, um, exchange of information, and it was about to happen. But finally, it, it, was, it was not possible. But then Tarkovsky managed to get you for nostalgia. Mm -hmm. So he was always interested in Swedish actors or actresses, and mainly, especially, uh, Bergmanian actors. Yes. Why? He was very impressed by Ingmar's films. And uh, he saw the Swedish actors in Ingmar films. He didn't see so many of the other pro 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 productions in the Swedish films. And um, I also think that he was, he was impressed by the work of Ingmar's cinematographer, Sven Nyqvist, and he was inter interested of the light in the Ingmar's films. And, and, um, but about the actors, I, I don't know. He suddenly called, my agent called me, and he said that, that Tarkovsky wanted me, and I was very happy about that. I said, it's not necessary for me to read the script. I want to be there, because I was a, such a fan, a Tarkovsky fan. Very good, like me. Like you, yeah. <laughs> when, when you went to sacrifice, to shoot sacrifice for the second time together with Tarkovsky, uh, you have learned from the, your experience um, with him in uh, Nostalgia. Was it uh, more easier for you to, to work for the second time with Tarkovsky? Was it uh, more pleasant, more... Um, did you get better in terms with him? Or no, I had a very good contact with him from the, the beginning, from the first day I met mm -hmm. him. But uh, it was in the way of... He had another... He looked at the actors in another way than Ingmar did. Ingmar had much more close-ups, much more uh, uh, things like that. But in uh, Tarkovsky's movies, you, there was a sort of distance to, to the actors, which is not so funniest close-up acting. Yeah. But I, uh, he, he, if you see, look at Stalker and, and uh, other films, the main, the main parts are rather often very far away. And you have to find the, the expressions yourself. I think it, it was a difference between Ingmar and Tarkovsky that in acting with Ingmar was very much a question of this low dissolved uh, character to show the most, most of it and to that the audience should know as much as possible when the film was over. But with Andre, it was much more that it, they had to guess what was going on with uh, this character in this situation. And that was, for me, rather complicated as an actor because I was used to work with all gestures and, uh, and uh, expressions and uh, yes. so on. And now I, I had to be more precise. OK, very good. Um, it is interesting to see that uh, there are three mm, important uh, literary or artistic works uh, which happened during the June nights, which in the northern regions are called the nights, the um, um, white nights. Um, Frocken, Frocken, Frocken Julie happens in the night of St. John, mm -hmm. uh, which is precisely at that time. Also the, the novel by Dostoevsky, uh, which is called White Nights, in Noches Blancas, and also Sacrifice. I'm, I'm, I guess that Tarkovsky wanted to be in, in Gotland by that time, just to get that light, the light of the boreal. Yes, it's true, it's true. He wanted, he liked the landscape also, yes. but this summer night light, I think it was rather Russian. They have yes, it in Russia. Right. And, um, but it was, a, 
And he said that very when we, before we started that he wanted to work together with the cinematographer Sven Nyqvist because they knew he knew everything of the summer night of light, summer light summer night's light. Summer night's light. And and um, so when we started with the uh, sacrifice, it was a conflict between him, him and Tarkovsky because, because suddenly. Tarkovsky said, I want to have the heaven black. It should be black. <laughs> and uh, in, Sven was rather unhappy and said, well, it's impossible. And uh, you have always talked about the Swedish summer night's light. But uh, he made a little, little bit of a compromise. But Andre wanted much, very much to make a Swedish film. He wanted Swedish actors, he wanted Swedish cinema, cinematographer, everything Swedish. But it went to be a Russia and to be the Dutch. And uh, yes. he was, I think it was a, a sign of uh, his homesickness that he built a Russia there in Scotland. Yes, that's right. It's true what, what you said. Um, you, you know the Italian film Tarkovsky tried to make in Italy and the Swedish film Tarkovsky tried to, be, to make uh, uh, in Sweden. I, I think it's true. He was trying to, to show himself as someone able to, uh, to make a sort of science thesis between Russian and the country he was living in. Yes. It was a sort of... of and I think it was... A, it, it was he was you made a sort of research to see is it possible for me as a as an artist to make films outside of Russia. Yes, that's right. And he he was interested in Italy and he was interested in in Sweden and in me. We worked together very well. Yes, okay, very good. We do great love. And is it true that he, during the White Nights, uh, these these special days? People become very excited and very nervous. Does it um, do people experience a sort of, of uh, could they mix, for instance, night and day, day and night, dream and reality? For all the, for, for instance, all the, all, wha all what happens in Dostoevsky's novel is that way because we don't know whether what happened, the, the encounters of man and woman during the night, mm -hmm. we don't know whether it's true or not. A sort of dream. Yes. Is that so in 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 Sweden? Is it a time for for extraordinary phenomenon? Yes. Ingmar Ingmar said uh, that the, 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 the no art is near dreams than uh, dreaming than film. More film is most close to the dream. And the master of dreams are is Andre, Andre. Andrei and so, uh, but he couldn't he he couldn't see the world without the camera. He was planning the shots and he was going on and so on. But suddenly he must to look in the camera and during the shooting it was quite difficult for the operator of the camera. But for example, we were waiting for a lot of no, very early mornings, we were at four in the morning to see the fog coming in from the Baltic Sea. And um, after it never came, and then uh, when it came after two weeks, we shouted to Andre, come here, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. This mystery of the fog coming in and so on. And he, he went to the camera and he looked and he said, no, it's too beautiful. So we had, and I think Strange. it was a, it it was a sort that you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, be, in, be in competition with uh, God. It's God who can create mysteries. You can do it. He was very religious and very fine. With the, and he created a lot of mystery in the Swedish landscape, more than Ingmar, perhaps. Yes, well, you you have played within maybe the longest, the, the, um, the longest uh, planned sequence, uh, mm -hmm. the longest shots of mm -hmm. film history, one of the longest. 
the one at the beginning and the 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 one at the end of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I think it's nine minutes or something. Yes, that's right. I think all the the bobin, probably. Mm? I want to ask two two questions about that. First of uh, first, um, the question of um, pa the time passing by with harmony. That was a, a Tarkovskian concept. He was very in interested in, in capturing time, the passing mm -hmm. of time. Could you say that something of the sort, d did you feel something of the sort in acting in those planes that, for instance, you don't feel when you are play, uh, acting in, in the stage? Is it true that there is something in those shots related with the mm, passing of time? What would you say? It's something related with that, yes. Yes. On time. I just was uh, thinking about this long shot. Yes. At nowadays, it's impo It's possible to make how long shots you want. So that, I think, what is his name? Solokov. Or yes, Sokulov. Sokulov, yes, yes. Has done it. And Ingmar has always dreamed, he wanted to make that experience, experiment, to take a f only with one person and her, I think it is a she, and, and yeah. with, with an actress with the, the face, and the, give the whole drama without cutting. And Andre was you know, so much, he wanted long shots, and he didn't make any cover-ups to, to, to solve the problems who could, who could be. And um, that was, I think it's one of his fantastic imagination, those long shots starting uh, like a poem going on yes, and the ending. I know that it, when Sven, to mention him again, was in, was in uh, Tokyo, suddenly Kurosawa called him and uh, he wanted to know how it was uh, possible to make this complicated shot with the mm -hmm. fire. and. And I don't know uh, anybody who is so complicated in the shooting as Kurosawa, so he was impressed yes, by true. him. So he was very fond of Tarkovsky's film also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and the second question about these this, uh, long shots is about dialogues. Um, in, 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 such a, in such longer shots, it could be difficult not to, to lose the the sequence or just, did you, did you prepare beforehand mm, along mm, heavily those, those actings, those, the dialogues, the way you, you were to be in a conversation, or it was a sort of improvisation? No, not, I'm not improvising. No. I don't like improvising. Yeah. I have no talent for that. I think people can, there are artists who can improvise a lot, mm -hmm. but I, I, uh, I, I don't like it. I, uh, it's not my business. And I, uh, there is, um, I think it's a film is name in English, is Passion of Anna, when Max von Sydow, Bibi Anderson, Lee Wollman and me are improvising about uh, something with a... Uh, and it is quite another style. It's, it's a, I think it's a marvelous film, but the, that part is not so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was fully, but was it, as much prepared as it is usually uh, when you work with uh, Verman, because Verman is, as far as I know, very m meticulous about the repetition of this, uh, the dialogues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it the same with Tarkovsky? Was he the same mm, demanding of the exactitude of, of the dialogues, or? Yes. Yes. And, uh, um, yes. I don't think that Ingmar hates surprises, so I don't think he would like very much improvisation. But I have, and um, Tarkovsky also is very. I like to work with these people who would really. If you, you I feel more free if they really are have the, the clearly made demanding demands from you. And if they say to me, make something interesting now and go on with it, it's possible, it's right. difficult for me. Right, okay. 
So thank you very much. Thank you. Erland Josephson, it was a pleasure. And in next, next year, again here in, in Madrid, for in two years' time, another interview for the next film. Good. <laughs> <laughs>